Okay, so these tests here are going to answer some questions that I have, and possibly those of yours. What we got going on here is a mock with just a two wrap winding. This is a four gauge speaker wire. It's really good stuff for this. And back here, I got a dimmer switch off one of those death trap lamps. The ones that shine the light up towards the ceiling. It uses a xenon bulb. I forget what they're called, but I think they might have been outlawed. I ain't sure. So that's just a dimmer switch hooked up to this fried mock. <coughs> The mock's slightly fried, but I think it's going to make it. What we're going to do here is some specimen tests of these different metal tubings to see how many amps we can crank through this stuff. Primary is showing 78 degrees. Got 76 on the transformer. That's 137 amps. 130. I didn't barely turn it up there. I'll get a reading on this. Okay, let's start the clock and just crank this thing. It's 265 amps and done. Oops, so fast I forgot to stop the watch. Now that only achieved 265, but I guarantee this thing will push way more than that. Showing 77 degrees on the primary, 77 on the mock. Okay. I'm at 516, 530. It's only going to 522. I need to shut that down a second. Aluminum's hard to do. The amperage is being limited by how good I've got these contacts. Yeah, I'm doing 11 amps on this side. Right around 500. Oops. Spot our problem. Wow, I just welded that together. Still right around 480, 500 amps. I don't like it. It ain't going. Showing about 122 degrees. Primary is at 84. This is cold. 400, 380 amps. 362, 334, 280. Okay. This time I'm going to run it at 150 amps. See if I can tune that in. at 148 this is reflective material so it ain't going to give a true reading 144 amps there we go 170 155 81 degrees on that 80 90 degrees on the wires. Okay, it was one minute. Four gauge wire at 155 amps. It's not bad at all right here. I think any heat I'm feeling here is due to the bad connection. And now it's time to melt something. Copper clad iron. Three forty four. Only about three hundred amps. 
226, 200 amps right now, 291, 184, 171, and I'll be moving the laptop now, 160 amps, 155, 149, 146, that's the primary, that's the laminate stack. That's the secondary on the back. And that's right at the terminal leads. <laughs> okay. I think I like it. Bear in mind, this transformer can push way more amps than what we're seeing today. It's just because of my connection, I'm just not able to flow so many amps through these little terminals. Like I said, I got this out of one of those high-powered lamps that takes a halogen bulb when it shines up towards the ceiling. Kind of burn your house down. And um, I have used a lot of these dimmer switches and have fried a pile of them. This one definitely outdoes them all by many amps. I think three amps was the max I could ever get out of a dimmer switch. So basically this is just to see. I know books tell you how thick of a piece of wire can carry so much current, but pictures speak a thousand words, so a video has got to be that much better. So this here was indestructible. Well, then again, we only did the 150 amp test on this. Okay, 495, 491, about 480. <coughs> there it goes. Okay, so where was I? So this isn't indestructible. I guarantee you 800 amps would probably take that, but I don't have any wire right now to get a good enough connection. That got everything pretty hot. Well, that thing is soft. It's butter still. So that little piece of aluminum... handle 500 amps for that long I don't know if you can see the pitting it has craters in it everywhere okay so here's what we got that thing was running at 1.9 volts the most amps I got was around 520 or so I think and that was on this piece of aluminum I was not able to fry that out if I had better connections it would have went this is a little piece of copper tube I did see it melted through that pretty quick here's that piece of aluminum here's the piece of copper cladded iron that one glowed the longest once it got white hot the 140 amps maintained that white heat 